Welcome back. I'm Mark McAllister in Parkdale. Tonight we're going to be diving into what is probably the number one issue in this election campaign, mainly because it's all encompassing. Affordability. It's broken down in a bunch of different ways, but the parties are approaching it in different ways as well. Here's a breakdown of where they all stand. Plenty of campaign stops. Together, we can build a brighter future. The new Conservative government helps you get ahead. Why we decided to invest in people. Lots of promises. And for Trudeau, they include making the first $15,000 of income for most Canadians tax-free by 2023. Increasing the Canada Child Benefit by 15% for kids under one year old. Upping the maximum eligible price under the first-time homebuyer incentive and improving access to family doctors, mental health care, and prescription drugs. To lighten their load, a re-elected Liberal government will work with provinces and territorial partners. Okay, well, thank you for your support. Andrew Scheer and the Conservatives plan to make things more affordable by reducing the tax rate for the lowest income bracket by 1.25% by 2023, removing the GST for home heating with rebates up to $200 giving new parents a tax credit of 15% on EI income and reintroducing the 30-year amortization period on mortgages for first-time buyers. Our policy will make housing more affordable for Canadians. We have a real plan and we will actually follow through on it. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh just announced subsidies of up to $5,000 for those paying 30% of their income on rent. That's in addition to building 500,000 new affordable housing units over 10 years, offering pharmacare, free dental, vision and mental health care within 10 years, creating a wealth tax of 1% for those worth more than $20 million, and funding child care with another $1 billion next year. We know that we can do a lot more. We're committed to doing that. Of course, there's much more to the party platforms on how they plan to make your life more affordable. And of course, we have much more information on our website at citynews.ca slash cityvotes2019. Plus, we'll obviously make a point at checking those promises as well.